Welcome back to Horrors Worldwide. Today, I'm going to explain a horror film called The Lighthouse, released in 2019. Spoilers ahead, watch out and stay safe. In the 19th century, a young man named Ephraim Winslow is sent on a boat to serve a contract job as a lighthouse keeper for four weeks on an isolated island under the supervision of an irritable and peg-legged man named Thomas Wake. Winslow is new to this particular job as he formerly worked as a timberman on Hudson Bay. On the first day of the job, Winslow notices that there is a hole in his cot. As he digs into it, he finds a small wooden scrimshaw of a mermaid. He likes that piece, hence stuffs it into his jacket. Winslow does not like the way Wake talks to him or behaves, because Wake is perceived by Winslow as a strange and superstitious fellow, going up on top of the lighthouse at night and stripping nude. On the night when Winslow and Wake sit down for dinner, Winslow suggests that they alternate shifts for the lighthouse work. On hearing this, Wake gets furious and tells Winslow that he is a junior and orders him to stay in his position, and only he is supposed to take care of the light work. Winslow does not like what he is told, but continues to stay quiet and keeps on eating food. On the island, Winslow is allocated to the more taxing jobs, refueling the light, stirring the oil barrack, carrying heavy gasoline containers, and disposing of the two men's chamber pots. And on the other side, Wake is just sitting on the lighthouse and looking at the light as if that light is doing some magic on him, and that light is making him happy in a different way. But Winslow is seeing the light from afar, and he sees floating tree stumps in the water along with the horrifying image of a mermaid in the deep. Then he wakes up, revealing that to be a dream. During the days on the island, Winslow is constantly encountered by a strange seagull and is annoyed by that. Wake sees this and encourages Winslow at dinner to leave it alone because it is bad luck to kill a seagull. One day, when Winslow stands near the stairs of the lighthouse, he feels like the stairs are calling him. He starts moving towards the stairs, but Wake stops him because he does not want to let anyone go there except himself. As the weeks progress, Winslow becomes more and more curious as to Wake's obsession with the light. One night at dinner, the two decide to get to know each other. They finally introduce each other by name and discuss the previous wiki. Wake says that his previous keeper passed away shortly after losing his sanity. Winslow tells Wake about how he used to work up in the north but decided to change profession, and Wake asks if he was running away from something he did in the mainland, which Winslow quickly shrugs off. Winslow asks Wake why killing a seagull is a bad omen, and he explains that seagulls are vessels for the souls of dead seamen, which Winslow shrugs off again. Next day, Winslow notices a major jam in the oil barrack and goes to see what the fuss is about. He opens the chamber and sees a dead seagull stuck inside. The other seagull, who has been tormenting Winslow for the past month, flies down to the oil barrack and attacks him. Winslow grabs the seagull and violently beats it to death against a rock. That afternoon, the wind finally stops, and Wake becomes paranoid that a storm is destined to attack the island, and therefore proposes that the two of them drown their sorrows in alcohol before the ferry comes tomorrow. They board up the windows and the storm begins. As the night progresses and the two get completely drunk, Winslow takes that opportunity to ask Wake about going up to the top of the lighthouse, which leads to an argument between him and Wake. The next morning, the fury is nowhere to be seen, and Winslow decides to continue with his morning routine. On the shore, he notices a mysterious figure washing up. As he approaches the new body, it appears to be a naked woman until he looks down and realizes that she is actually a mermaid. He runs back into the cottage and says nothing to Wake. Their rations were all impacted by the storm the previous night. Wake informs Winslow that they buried a secret stash of ration next to the lighthouse that they will need to get. The two dig the pit, and they find a box that there is no food inside. Instead, there is only more and more alcohol. More nights progress, and the two become closer as they drink more and continue to be at each other's throats. One night in the bedroom, Winslow, in a drunken stupor, harasses Wake and criticizes his cooking skills, leading Wake to verbally curse out Winslow, asking Neptune to strike him dead in a lengthy soliloquy. The days of the storm continue, and Winslow slowly begins to drink on his own, and he loses his composure and his concept of time. He sneaks up to the top level of the lighthouse but cannot enter without a key. As he gazes into the light, he begins to have visions of tentacles moving inside. At last, he even attempts to steal the keys from Wake's jacket but becomes unsuccessful in that. The weather of the island is getting worse and also the minds of the two. After a day of drinking too much, 
Winslow tells Wake that his original name is not Ephraim Winslow, and his real name is Thomas Howard, and Ephraim Winslow is the name of his friend, who was killed in an accident, and if he wanted, could have saved him. When Ephraim died, he began to use his name. Wake listens to all this carefully. After saying all this, Winslow goes to sleep. In the sleep, Winslow has another vision of him pulling up a lobster cage from the depths of the sea, containing the severed head of Wake's previous wiki. Eventually, Winslow can't take any more and he tries to leave. He pushes the lifeboat out from the cabin, but Wake sees this and uses an axe to destroy the boat. Wake chases Winslow into the cottage, but inside, Wake continues with more psychological manipulation, claiming that it was actually Winslow that chased Wake around the island with an axe. Wake also tries to blackmail Winslow with his past, but nothing is affecting Winslow because he is slowly going crazy. Winslow tells Wake that he knows what happened with the previous lighthouse keeper before him, which Wake has killed. Winslow has also said he has found the dead body of his old partner in Lobster. Hearing that, Wake tries to convince Winslow, saying not to waste his life and promise they both will get out of that island together. Winslow calms down. An undisclosed amount of time later, the two have another drunken party together. The storm becomes so powerful that the waves crash to the windows and destroy the cottage. The next morning, the two wake up in a flooded cottage. Winslow decides to pick up Wake's diary. Inside, he finds that Wake has decided not to pay Winslow for his services once the ferry comes to pick him up. That leads to another argument. Wake finally reveals that he knows Winslow killed the seagull and brought bad omens upon the island. Irritated, Winslow attacks Wake and starts envisioning him as different people, first as the real Ephraim Winslow, then as the mermaid, then as Poseidon himself. Enveloped in an imaginary tentacles, he beats Wake into submission. He then ties a collar around Wake's neck and forces him to walk and act like a dog. He takes Wake over to the hole where they kept the crate of alcohol and covers Wake in the dirt until he passes out. Winslow uses his opportunity to steal the key off him and runs back into the cottage to find the cabinet. Wake, in a fit of rage, bursts into the cottage with the axe and hacks Winslow in the shoulder. Winslow overpowers Wake and impales Wake right in the head. Winslow then walks up to the top level of the lighthouse and finally sees what's inside the light. The spinning light seemingly stops spinning and opens up for him. Winslow gazes into the light and lets out an incredibly distorted laugh that gets louder and louder as the light gets brighter and brighter. Winslow then falls back and tumbles down the lighthouse steps. The movie ends with Winslow laying on the rock completely naked with one eye pecked out and seagulls eating and pecking out his innards.